All right, we'll get started here in a few minutes. How are we, friends? Hopefully the sound works. Maybe that worked. I'm trying different things with uh, Streamlabs OBS a little bit. How is everybody tonight? Coaxing a cat from under your bed. <laughs> Kitty! Is it still storming where you're at right now, Lynn? Oh, good. Well, hopefully you won't have too many more storms uh, popping through, but I know it's kind of that time of year for you.
I'm running just a few minutes behind. I need to go grab my tea, but I had to wait for it to boil. So we'll be stuck here for just a few more minutes. All right, we're good. We got the tea now. I think we can we can get on to the good shit. Hello, Lyra. Hello, Lynn. I said I think I see a renegade lurking in there and some other folks. Welcome, welcome. Let's do the thing. Hello, Fassie. Welcome. Okay, so where did we leave off? We were at chapter three, section two. Oh boy. All right, Renegade. Well, good luck with your paper. Okay. We are going to get started. This could be interesting. My voice may be a little on the raw side. Aw, thank you for subscribing, Renegade. Thank you. Playing Fate for the past few days and have to stop because hand cramping? Hi, Padiz! Alright, here we go. Uh, as I was saying, my voice may be a little on the raw side. I have been running a bunch of TTRPGs like all weekend. <laughs> I have basically been talking non stop since, um,. Well, since we were here Friday night, I think. Yeah. Oof. So my voice may... My, my it, Chizuru may sound a little tired, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but I will try my best. June, 1865. Our emperor had passed and our year moved from the second of Ganji to the first of Keio. It was three months since we'd moved the headquarters to Nishihonganji. There's a lot more room, but... More room meant, well, farther to walk. I'd walk through it almost every day for weeks and I was finally beginning to learn my way around. As I turned a corner near the back of the compound, I caught sight of someone sitting in the shadows. 
There you are, Sanan. Your food's ready. Ah, the snow disappeared, the cherry blossoms bloomed and fled, and now the swallows in the heat came. Sanan and I exchanged a pair of smiles, and I held out my hands to let the breeze brush across them. It's really gotten warm lately. Really? I didn't think the sun was particularly strong that day. But to sun none who hid in the shadows and out of sight during the day, it must have been unbearable. The night he changed. Sun Nun's hair turned white, and in his eyes there was a thirst for blood. But looking at his peaceful smile now made it hard to imagine such a night was real. If someone told me it was all a bad dream, I would have believed it. It wasn't a dream, though. And now Sun Nun spends his days hiding from the sunlight and from others. For just a moment, the sun lit on Sanan's hair. <gasps> I don't know if it was a trick of the light, or simply my mind being foolish, but in that moment his hair was a brilliant white. Uh, oh, n no, <laughs> nothing at all. He looked perfectly normal now, of course. Surely I thought I must have simply imagined it. Even if I had, there was no denying that he was the same man who went mad with bloodlust. The fear of the night cast a shadow over my heart. Well, hey, we didn't get that weird visual glitch we got the last time. <laughs> it was unnerving. Heisuke and I made our way through the crowded as usual streets of Kyoto at a brisk pace. You know, I haven't gone out on patrol with you in quite a while, Heisuke. Everything was fine, and they were kind to me. None at all. The somberness of Heisuke's expression started to rub off on me. Now I was depressed. Oh, thank you for taking the time to look anyway. Heisuke stopped himself mid-sentence, which was jarring. Ever since he returned from Edo, he's looked glum. Uh, hey, Heisuke. How about you? It's been a while since you were in Kyoto. Does it seem different from Edo? Huh? I wondered what was going through his head. Did something happen to him in Edo? 
His sudden change of character confused me. Heiska's head jerked up slightly and he looked across the street. He stood on his toes and waved. Oi! Soji! Welcome, Grim. You've arrived just in time. Okita was out on patrol as well, although his route took him through a different part of the city. The Shogun's coming to visit Kyoto? So, Kondo san mo hari kitte ryo. Kondo san, ie mochiko no koto o sugoku sonkei shite kara. Ah, I see. I hope it turns out well. Right, Heisuke? Oh, oh. Ma, Kondo san wa sou daro. Huh? Something had really gotten into him. I glanced at Okita to see if he noticed anything. <laughs> Okita, are you all right? Oh, I see. Well, please take care of yourself. I have medicine to treat cold, so I'll give you some when we return. So, thank you. What's the matter? Okita's eyes looked past me, and suddenly something caught his attention off to the side. Oi, Kumusume, what are you doing? Welcome, Truant! How are you? We're about to rescue a damsel. Across the street, a clump of perhaps three or four men were harassing a young girl. Okita! Heisuke! But it appeared that Okita got to them first. I am doing good, Truant. Lots and lots of TTRPG in all weekend, and now this good stuff. The usual crowd shuffled away from Okita and the men as quickly as they could. No one wanted to be near the sight of the unsheathed blades. The Ronin's eyes found Okita's jacket, and the men stiffened. <laughs> I do so love what a troll Okita can be. Such a snarky bastard. His lips curled into a predatory smile as his hand gripped his sword. There was no mirth in that rictus grin, and the Ronin's faces grew much paler. Their moods were not totally deflated yet, as their ringleader made one more attempt. The sight of two Shinsengumi blue jackets standing shoulder to shoulder was enough to deter the men. The last of the color drained from their faces, and they turned tail and ran. Um, you aren't going to go after them? Uh, arrest them? Oh, I 
I didn't really mean it like that. I watched as the girl gave Okta a quick bow. She was so refined, so ladylike. Even dressed like a girl, I doubted I could ever be as elegant as her. I'd only just begun to feel sorry for myself when suddenly I felt a hand on my arm. Whoa! Okita? Um... He shoved me next to the girl we just rescued, then stepped back to stroke his chin thoughtfully. Uh, um... O Okita? I glanced nervously toward the girl and attempted to smile kindly, uh, under the circumstances. The smile she gave me in return was beautiful. But there was something about it that seemed... odd. <laughs> the lifeless eyes of the not-you imposter! And yes, Chizuru is fucking cute. Isn't she precious? I love her. She seems familiar. We look like... That's when I finally realized. She was identical to whom I saw in the mirror. <laughs> and then there's fucking Heisuke who's like, No, nope, don't see it. They don't look a thing alike. They're totally dressed differently. Derp da derp da derp. <laughs> I want the world for little chorizo! Which means, hey, Ske. Dang right. Oh, um... I had to say something, but what? Perhaps she saw through my confusion, or perhaps it was something else. With that, the girl who called herself Kaoru disappeared into the crowds of Kyoto, although the uneasiness created by her presence remained. Their back and forth continued, but my mind was elsewhere. Last night's rain left a number of puddles in the road, and when I looked into them, I saw a strange girl who looked just like me. Kaoru, huh? Wind caught the surface of the puddle, sending a flurry of ripples across it. Alright! I'm coming! I turned and ran toward Heisuke and Okita, already on their way back to headquarters. We should save, it's been a while. Do, 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 do. There we go. The temple was much larger than the compound in Mibu, as advertised. The whole Shinsengumi could gather in the common room with space to spare. As Kondo spoke, his voice echoed grandly throughout the hall. <laughs> Hashtag acting. Thank you, though. 
standing before Kondo were the many proud men under his leadership with glowing expressions. Minamo, Tokugawa, Dai Juyon Dai Shogun, Tokugawa Yemochiko, and Jorak Sareru to your Hanashiwa, Kikyo Yondi Tomo. Sono Jorakuni Tomonai, Koga, Nijojo, and Hira Remode, Shinsengumi Soryoko Motte, Kego no Ninni Atarubes, Tono, Yose Oketa. Do do do. Let's just pause for a moment to appreciate Kondo, the good dad. Shogun Kondo Kego, Shin Sengun ga? This is a big deal. Hmm. Ikeda and Kinmon's kind of work, the Oerai people didn't accept the work of our work. Hijikata is totally the super duper strict scary dad. Kondo's like the nice dad. He's the one you go ask to like borrow money or borrow the car or whatever. Hijikata is the one you just hope you don't piss off <laughs> when you do dumb shit. <laughs> A slight note here. Temera is one of the uh, many, many, many Japanese pronouns uh, to refer to you. It's also really rude. Or at least crude. <laughs> Sanan is the ugly. <laughs> Burn! So mean. Uh, in any case, if you listen to Hijikata speak, you will hear him refer to the group uh, by Temera a lot. <laughs> Which is interesting. The, the way the pronouns are used by characters is really indicative of various elements of their personality. And um, it's one of the things that I love about Japanese. They use it to a pretty great advantage in anime and visual novels to uh, more clearly depict character traits. Shogun Kou no Keigo to ha mata taiyaku desu na. Eh, hontou ni. Sanan san ga ikite ireba dore hodo o yorokobi ni natta koto ka. Hontou ni oshii kata o nakushimashita wa ne. Ito wiped crocodile tears away from his eyes with a silk handkerchief. Ito and his followers were told Sanan died. In fact, the entire incident surrounding his transformation had been covered up. Only a few of the men of the Shinsengumi knew the truth. Ito-san, Kotabi no bakumei o lippa ni nashi togeru koto koso. Nakunatta Sanan-kun ga shin ni nozonde iru koto da to omoimasu. Can Ito choke on his dinner? Yeah, that'd be nice. It's not gonna be that easy, though. Eh, wakatte imasu wa. Watakushi tachi no nao, tenka ni hiroku shirashimeru zekkou no kikai desu mono ne. Tomo are, kore kara isomashiku narimasu na. Mazu wa tai no hensei o kangai neba. Tori aizu ore to toshi. それから掃除。待ってくれ、近藤さん。掃除は今回外してやってくれねえか。なぜ？何でも風が治らねえとかでな。気を上昇しろって散々言ってるのよ。本当か？大丈夫なのか掃除？ 大した風邪じゃないんですけどね。土方さんは大げさなんですよ。何言ってやがるんだ。さっきも咳してただろうが。それ薬を売りつけるための工場ですか？何を言われても石田さん役は買いませんよ。そんなんじゃねえよ。い
I gave Logita some pretty strong medicine not too long ago. I wonder if that didn't work. Or maybe he doesn't have a cold, but rather he's inhaling dust from the lack of cleaning here? And then suddenly, someone raised his hand. <laughs> no, Okita's like, I'm not going to buy your bullshit medicine, man. S screw that. なんだ。平助も風か。気をつけないといかんぞ。せっかくの晴れ舞台。全員揃って家持ち子をお迎えしたかったのだがな。すいません。ああ、いや、攻めたわけではないんだ。体調は大事だからな。Kondo and Hijikata continued to discuss their formation, but suddenly Hijikata turned to me. So, yeah, Yukimura, Omae wa do surun da? Um, what? Oh, get a run jane yo. Uh, I can go too? Could I? Could I really go? I hesitated for a moment, confused, and Okita laughed. What should I do? I'm just a little concerned about a person like me who's not a warrior coming along, but... I was feeling emotionally strained with no leads of my father turning up on rounds. I'll go! <laughs> yeah, the localization is pretty good um, based on my limited knowledge of Japanese. Um, I'm not fluent by any means, but I did study for a couple of years. Um, so I have the gist of it sometimes. Uh, and it's interesting, though, the choices that they made for localizing it. In general, it seems like it sticks pretty, pretty close on. Whoa. Um, context. Hijikara-san. <laughs> In the early days of the Tokugawa Shogunate, Nijo Castle was a place for the Shogun to stay on his way to the capital. It's been a while since the Shogun actually stayed in it, though. We'd met the Shogun on the road and begun our escort about 30 minutes earlier, and arrived at the castle relatively recently. By now, I imagined Kondo, Nagakura, Inoue, and the men were greeting officials and other important people in the Shogun's retinue. Well, I've got a job to do, too. It was my job to tell soldiers when to change shifts, and to carry messages back and forth. A glorified errand girl, in other words. I don't see myself as being useless, though. I think. Um, I've come with a message. Whatever, Miki. Well, I'm not here to play. I've come here to do what I can do. Would you mind if we stop playing games? <laughs> I hope choking on dinner runs in the family. 
<laughs> right? Yeah, Mickey's kind of a douche. The chief is currently going around paying his respects to the people in the castle. Everyone else continue with the guard. Huh? That's it? It's that simple? <laughs> Agreed, Grim. Agreed. It's real unfortunate. He's such a jerk and I hate him, but he's really pretty. Oh, well, no, I just... Okay. Miki and I never really got on the best of terms, but maybe he's a responsible person. After he shooed me away, I continued attending to my duties as a messenger. In the surroundings of Nijo Castle, I can see the warriors wearing a white uniform which was different than the afternoon uniform. They don't seem too nervous. But I guess it makes sense. Some of the Imperial Nationalist extremists were driven out of Kyoto, and many warriors fled. There's no way anything would hap- <laughs> A sudden chill ran down the length of my spine. I froze. <laughs> I knew the feeling. A length of cold steel seeking entry into your flesh. Eyes shining with a lust for blood and violence. Since I'd begun living with the Shinsengumi, I felt it more than once. Bloodlust. My eyes were drawn to the roof where no one would think to look. A large wall cast a shadow, shielding a section of the roof from the moonlight. There they stood. You! They looked very distinctive, unlike any soldiers I'd seen before. But three sets of piercing eyes scattered my thoughts, making it hard to think. I had recognized them. Now I had to put names to faces. Chikage Kazuma. Kyuju Amagiri. Kyo Shiranui. They were connected to both the Satsuma and the Choshu, and they'd made an effort to impede the Shinsengumi at Ikeda, and again at Hamaguri. Why are you here? Why are you here? What? My heart was pounding so hard it could burst. <laughs> no brow tattoo and husband, though. No. Yeah, that's accurate. Why do these men know my name? Uh, I don't understand. A demon? What do you mean? And what are you here for? Uh, no, you must be joking. <laughs> Also, once again, I'm sort of low-key annoyed that they chose to translate Oni to demon because I feel like Oni just fits better thematically. And I feel like even most Western audiences would understand it in this context. So it seems like an odd choice to translate the word. But that's just me. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, high key annoyed. Sorry. I'm picky about my Japanese mythology, okay? He stepped forward, cloaked in shadows. When Amagiri spoke, it was calm and peaceful, as if he were reasoning with a frightened child. <laughs> I held my breath. How does he know my secret? I've never revealed it to anyone before. W well, I... Words struggled to come to mind, and just as I was about to deny their accusations... Huh? Shiranui's gun glistened eerily. <laughs> After Kazuma glared at Shiranui, his eyes drifted toward the Kodachi on my hip again. My family name? What was wrong with Yukimura? I didn't understand what he was saying and the cold sweat started inching down my spine. His hand stretched out from the darkness, pale and grasping like the tentacle of some hideous subterranean monster. Then a blade flickered through the night. Oi, oi. I begin a moskoshi yokino arbasho iranda honga in Janeka. Mata o my touch. Inaka no inu a mehashida kiwa kikutomi. Harada! Saito! My legs almost collapsed as if the now shattered tension was the only thing keeping me standing. I teetered backwards, my balance momentarily lost. A strong sinewy hand caught me and pulled me back, its grip hard as steel. For real though, Harada's combat smack talk is the best. Sangatru. Hijikara! One hand guided me around behind him even as the other drew his sword. His eyes narrowed. Hijikata seemed perplexed by Kazuma's statement, as if contemplating the possibility of its truth. <笑><笑>こいつの面を拝むのは金門の変以来だな。腐れんってとこか大して嬉しくもねえがな。再会という意味ではこちらも同じくだ。だが何の考えもわかんない。我々の邪魔立てをするつもりですか。<笑> The tension was so thick in the air that I could scarcely breathe. They were a powder keg ready to explode. Yeah, the pairings are a little odd. There's not much of interest with the Amagiri Saito thing. Because uh, Amagiri is like super fucking reasonable. <laughs> but the uh, Shiranui Sano pairing, quote unquote. Uh, is fun to watch. Even the slightest movement could set them off. It wasn't like I could do much. But I still wanted to help them, so I grabbed my sword. Y 
Yamazaki, when did you? Then you're telling me to run away. <laughs> yeah, I low-key was in love with Yamazaki even in the original game. I was real sad he was not an option. So I'm real happy that he is now. I mean, he may be right, but... I... Uh, we are going back to headquarters. Even as I ran back to the headquarters with Yamazaki, I couldn't shake the fear in my heart. When I finally got to the compounds, I still felt nervous, and I could do nothing but stare into the blank darkness behind me. Did we miss a little? Let's see. Nope, she just was like, but... Demo! Yeah, we need to be loyal to Heisuke at least for now. <laughs> we'll get to Yamazaki eventually, don't worry. Minashogunko,の警護に出ているから、今の頓所に... Okay. Understood. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we just ran away from husband though, so anyway. But we all know I have actual terrible taste. This is fine. With that, he disappeared back into the darkness. <sighs> Suddenly, the night felt very quiet. The word demon echoed through my head, and their faces floated in front of my eyes. I shook my head. As the temple came back into focus, I felt very... Very alone. As Yamazaki said, I should go find Okita or Heisuke. But whom should I look for? Obviously. <laughs> Is this why I make all the villains so alluring? Um, it may have something to do with that, yeah? The night compounds that I'm so used to felt like a place I don't know. Nearly all of the members of the Shinsengumi left to guard the Shogun, which meant the compound was still cold and oddly silent. So when I spotted Heisuke, I was quite relieved. Heisuke! Why are you here? The Shogun's work is over? Um, actually... I didn't know where to start. Stumbling over my words more often than not, I poured out the whole story. At the mention of Amagiri, the man who'd wounded Heisuke at Ikeda, he scowled. Yeah. I... don't think so. I don't know how, but they knew my name. Kinda? Do 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 do. But... I'm alright now, right? Thanks. He 
He pounded his chest with one fist and grinned. I felt a little better. There was something about his bravado that was somehow comforting. But wait. I thought you didn't feel well. Shouldn't you be resting inside? Uh, or better yet, I'll, I'll prepare some medicine. What? Why? He looked at me for a moment, then shook his head in defeat. What do you mean you didn't want to go? Why? Heisuke seemed to be unsure whether to open up, and he looked up at the night sky for a moment. Eventually, he slowly but quietly continued speaking. Kondo-san and what do you mean by that? I was in disbelief that he would admit such a thing, so I had to ask. いじんが我が物顔でいろんな建物を建ててて。なのに幕府の役人はそのことを全然気にしてねえみてえでさ。本気で上位をするつもりがあるのか。江戸に住む人たちを守るつもりなんてねえんじゃねえかって思っちまって
since then. Once the rest of the men returned, there was a meeting among the captains. The subject of that meeting was the three men at Nijo Castle. Chikage Kazama, Kyuju Amagiri, and Kyoshiranui. They called themselves demons, and their previous encounters with the Shinsengumi suggested they were somehow involved with the Satsuma and Choshu. The Satsuma were the most powerful domain in the opposition domain, and the Choshu are publicly expressive of their descent toward the Shogunate. The Choshu are essentially enemies of the court. I don't know how the three men are supposedly affiliated with the domains, but... It was abundantly clear they are not to be dealt with carelessly. There was another problem, however. Why had they come for me? They said I was one of them, and knew about my family name and my Kodachi. But how? My name is Chizuru Yukimura. I am the daughter of my father and my mother. I am a normal girl. Nothing out of the ordinary. But... Who am I? On to the next section. That was some heavy shit. June, 1864. The compound was alive with noise and movement. I passed several soldiers in the halls, each one of them excited about something. What was going on? Uh, Ito? Is something wrong? Ito's explanation was useless. I was completely confused. Um, is there something going on today? Ito did his best to collect himself, shakily adjusting his hair and clothing before he spoke. With a disdainful sniff, he glared pointedly across the hall toward the area he'd just left. The men were getting physical checkups, that much I knew. Given my particular situation, I'd been exempted by the captains, who also gave me special instructions to stay away. あの、ハゲボズ、じゃなくて、お医者様ったら。みんなの前で私に着物を脱げとおっしゃるのよ。小判だら無理やり脱がせようとするし。それにあの大使たちの態度。Savages seemed a bit strong. At any rate, perhaps I should go see just what a physical entailed. I was a doctor's daughter, after all. Yay! Grats, renegade! Keep it up! What's this doctor's name? What? Wait, Dr. Matsumoto? <laughs> he and his explanation of something in common. Nice, Grim. Nice. When I first came to Kyoto, my plan was to find Dr. Matsumoto. My father told me that I could rely on the man if I ever needed anything. Unfortunately, he was away on business when I'd arrived. And after that... 
I'm going to go watch the physical exams. There was no time to waste. I mean, that was a really weird thing to just yell as you run away, Chisudu. <laughs> but okay. Is this it? I could hear loud voices from inside. Oh. Uh, oh. The scene froze me in place. Oh, it's <laughs> どうすか。剣術一筋で期待に期待たこの体。心拍さんの場合、体は頑丈だもん。見てもらうのは頭の方だよな。うん。よけいなこと言ってると締めるぞ、ヘスケ。うん。長くら心拍ちょっと。よし
He looked at me for a moment, his eyes narrowed in curiosity. Oh, oh, yes, of course. What luck. Um, Dr. Matsumoto. Matsumoto Sensei, Yukimura kun. Oh, hi, Kondo. Oh, Sasuko Aite Yodana. Hi, Okange Samade. Kansha Storimas. Uh, what? I was utterly lost. Dr. Matsumoto laid a gentle hand on my shoulder. Kondo-san's娘さんがここに身を寄せていると、Kondo-san が教えてくれたんだ. Uh, oh, I see. Kondo-san と松本先生がコインにしていたことは、俺も知っていたからな。何かコンドさんの手がかりになればと思い、松本先生が今日に戻ってすぐに連絡を取った。the Shinsengumi had their own reasons for wanting my father found, but Dr. Matsumoto's appearance was still cause for joy. <laughs> Thank you, both of you. They smiled. Dr. Matsumoto then explained that he had just barely missed me when he left for Edo as I came to Kyoto. He'd received all my letters, but once he finally returned he had no idea where I was, and consequently couldn't find me. すれ違いだったとはいえ、辛い思いをさせてしまったようだ。君がここにいる事情は分かっておるよ。何か不自由なことはないかね。No, uh, I'm doing all right. So, Dr. Matsumoto, uh, about my father. His face took on a grim cast, and before he even spoke, I knew what the response would be. I... I see. The defeated tone of my voice surprised me. I suppose on some level I believe Dr. Matsumoto had some miraculous revelation about my father. Foolish of me, of course, but that didn't make the truth any less devastating. Kondo simply nodded. Yes, I knew what he meant. The experiments my father conducted with some strange concoction that could make people go mad. Please tell me about it. I want to know everything my father was doing. He nodded. Furies. This term seemed so familiar. Then I realized I'd overheard some of the men talking about it. Soji, metta na koto yumon jane. Kanbu ga rasets ni natte dou suru nda yo. Oh, rasets itte no wa kusuri o nondara kega mo naucchi mau. Rasets itte yu no wa kawai sou na kotachi no koto da yo. そしてそのラセツを生み出したのはオチミズという薬だ。これは西洋ではエリクサー、中華では先端と呼ばれるものにあたりする。つまるところ、フローフシの霊薬みたいなものだ。Furies, water of life. It sounded more like something from a fairy tale rather than real life. But there was something in Dr. Matsumoto's tone of voice that said he was telling the truth. 
I've already heard about how it makes you strong and hard to kill. But doesn't it cause so much pain that it makes most people go crazy? And even if you survive that, then even the smell of blood can make you go crazy again. Dr. Matsumoto nodded slowly, then pinched the bridge of his nose with thumb and forefinger. He looked very tired. Yes. They were human, but not human. Perhaps they were almost entirely different now? I couldn't see how this water of life could ever be used for good. Even if it had healed Sanan's arm, he'd suffered greatly in the process. Why? It sounded more like a moan than a question. My father would never want to ruin the life of another, but because of what he'd done, people suffered, and some even died. Why was my father doing this? But it wasn't just my father. I was sure no one involved expected such a terrible outcome. The doctor only shook his head. Kondo frowned, perhaps unhappy that Dr. Matsumoto would question the Shogunate's original decision. Gondo gave a non-committal grunt and fell silent. I was sure Gondo knew just how dangerous it was to use the Water of Life, but the Shogunate had come to him with a request. Perhaps he couldn't refuse, even if he wanted to. Silence fell like a thick blanket. たとえ将軍校のご天意を務めておられる方のお言葉といえど、大使でもない方に口を差し挟まれる筋合いはありません。Sanan? His face was pale as moonlight, as if he was a walking corpse. Is it okay for you to be up right now? <laughs> Here comes the creepy. He bowed quickly, his mouth a compressed line, and turned to regard the doctor with a cool gaze. Yeah, he's dead, undead, vampiric, whatever the heck. He's a fury. He's a fury now. しかし危険だ。あの薬は人が扱えるような白物じゃない。研究は続いています。そしてこの私という成功例もあります。as Sanan did indeed prove, it was possible to drink the water of life and retain your sanity. It just wasn't easy. <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs
Uh, well, you did miss the, the abs for days. <笑>成功するかどうかもわからん実験に対しを付き合わせるのは生命を冒涜しているとしか思えんが彼らは我々の礎となったのです無駄死にではありませんしかしだなまあまあ松本先生も三男君も落ち着いてこの話は後日改めてということにしないか。It was my private opinion that they were unlikely to agree, no matter what time they discussed the subject, but I felt it was polite to keep quiet. そうだな、わかった。My friends, if any of you are missing any of the CGs from this game, I can definitely hook you up. I may or may not have a folder of like 800 so much as it can be. Anyway, you know, it's fine. I have all the art. It's fine. There seemed to be very little in common ground between them, but both arguments had merit. Kondo had likely seen this as well, and he chose to end things before it got unpleasant. Sunnan's face betrayed nothing of what he might be thinking, even when the corner of his mouth quirked up into the beginning of a smile. He bowed quietly and left as swiftly as he arrived. Well, for starters, Shinpachi wouldn't shut the fuck up and kept flexing his pecs and every other muscle in his goddamn body. But fine otherwise. Ah, what? Nanto. Nanto Time to clean this dirty ass place up. So, we were ordered to clean the entire compound. これは掃除とか整理整頓がこの世で一番嫌いなのによ。ぐちゃぐちゃ言ってないで。さっさとそこの炭素を持ち上げてくれって。散々自慢してた体力を披露するいい機会じゃないか。ああ、Sano, <笑><笑> uh, I love you too much, man. <笑>うわあ、ネズミが出た。落ち着け。大事はない。どうやらそこにある握り飯を餌にしていたようだな。本当だ。誰だよ、食い残しの握り飯をこんなところに隠してたやつ。まったく。なぜ私がこのような雑用に借り出されなければならんのだ。そもそも私は軍略が専門だという
Right now, I kind of do. Miki-kun. Kotoba ni kiyotsuke tamae. Tashka ni yōgaku ni wa otoru ka mo shiren ga. Koushu ryu gungaku wa keshite jidai okure dewa naku. O, Kondo san da. Kondo kyokucho, go ran kudasai. Saki hodo made, ashi no fumiba mo nai hodo datta heya ga. Watashi no shidou de koko made. Hmm? Kyokucho wa? Takeda realized Kondo was nowhere to be seen, and he glared at Harada. Harada, Kisama, Hakatana. Butsukusa monku itari, peko peko stari, okotari. Isogashi na antamo. Uh, Sano. You are a good dude. So yet the item you the Korokoro Taido Kaede, Skarenega. He just keeps going. Uh, uh, hi, everyone. I've washed the rags. Uh, please use this when you wipe the floor. Oh, I got the. Despite being upset because of chore duty, the men swiftly cleaned the room as a team. <laughs> uh, Sano is uh, pretty fucking fierce <laughs> when he really wants to be. He's so chill, you never see it coming until he's already completely put you into the ground. And yeah, actual historical Miki is pretty darn cool. I jury is still out on how he totally ends up in the game though. Uh let's go ahead and Eh, we'll keep going a little bit. I still have tea. When my tea runs out, we'll take a break. Sound good? As Grim goes to do some research now. <laughs> uh, I am drinking matcha green tea, of course. Seems appropriate for the uh, the the subject matter here. It's stuff that's in tea bags. Uh, it's a Rishi brand. It's not bad. It's not like. Truly authentic, but it's pretty tasty. Lol research. Yeah, the historical one is uh, like they kind of uh, abbreviated his name in this version. But Lynn is correct. Suzuki Miki Saburo. Since I know you live to hear me pronounce Japanese things. <laughs> Dr. Matsumoto came the next day to inspect the cleanliness of the compounds. Hmm. Mama, Goddamn it, Shimpachi. <laughs>人を動かすという点に関しては軍略も掃除もさして変わりませぬゆえ。あんた文句言ってただけだろうが。でも掃除は 1日休ん
前が変な咳するからだろうが養生しねえからいつまでも治らねえんだよしかしやはりこうして片付いていると気分がいいものですまあな見違えたもんだこれはこれで悪くねえ This is what happens when a actual like legion force of bachelors finally understands that cleaning is good. Whew. Yosh, Kurukurua, Mainichi Soji Suruka. You think, Sano? No, I don't do the Heske. なんで俺だけなんだよ体力自慢の新発さんが真っ先に働くべきだろ I'll help too, h e i s u k e そっかそんじゃ明日から二人で頑張ろうな新発さんなんて放っておいておいおいちょっと待てて誰もやらねえとは言ってねえだろおそこにまだゴミがあるじゃねえかちょうどいい捨ててこいシンパチいやだから明日からだろなあヘスケ片付けたそばから暴れるな誇りが立つ I was enjoying the banter when I noticed something あ、oh? I could just see Okta and Dr. Matsumoto outside, walking off somewhere together. Yeah, it's rare, but it's kind of nice when Hijikata even joins, in, joins into the banter. Do 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 do, let's see, what do we pick? Uh, much as we would worry about Okita, we actually choose this one, I guess, for Heisuke. I was worried for Okita, but. He'd be fine so long as Dr. Matsumoto was with him. After the excitement wound down, I excused myself and went back to work. I was outside sweeping, bamboo broom in hand, when he appeared. <laughs> Don't come any closer! His voice was so deep that it felt as if it were exhumed from the depths of the earth, covering me. Slowly I turned around. Back the fuck up, mister! Kazuma! His face was a mixture of surprise and sneering disgust as he looked down at me through cold eyes. I held the broom in both hands like a staff and stepped into what I hoped was a fighting stance. What are you doing here? He laughed with disdain, snorting at my weapon. Easy there, buddy. His tone was mocking, but his eyes were like two chips of ice. This was a dangerous man. What was I to do? I could hardly face him alone. Yeah, I I am very fond of his voice, although it was not what I expected when I first played the game. It's quite fitting, however. He sounds like a bored lord. <laughs> oh boy, that's awesome, Narcissus. Adam is wonderful. He's so fucking expressive. I'm excited to watch it again. 
My father? I was staring at him, stunned by his statement. Oh snap, the plot thickens, you guys. If you're talking about Kodo Yukimura, then yes, he's my father. At first he seemed surprised, but then he wore a malicious grin as if he became privy to everything. Why are you asking about my father? I lowered the broom, my situation temporarily forgotten when... Hijikata! ひるまっから何しに来やがった。女を口説くにはまだ早い時間だぜ。ま。おさの。こいつに近づくんじゃねえ。原田、ヘイスケ。庭掃除にしちゃ切羽詰まった声が聞こえたからな。大丈夫か
あの風間ってやつが本当のことを言ってるとも限らねえだろもしかしたらお前の動揺を誘うために言ってるのかもしれねえしそうだな裏を取らねえ情報を鵜呑みにするのは危険だぜ I suppose 行動さん探しには観察型も動いているいずれまた情報も入るだろう Bing. The watch、uh, out of the characters we give a shit about consists of Yamazaki and Shimada. Congratulations, Renegade! Keep going! Thank you. I hadn't really expected any of them to be so nice to me. It was a pleasant surprise. The only reason they allowed me to stay was because of my f was my father's daughter. That hadn't changed. But. Eee! Toriyaz Kodo san ga ikite るってことが分かっただけでもよかったじゃねえか。なんか分かったら、俺たちもすぐ教えるからさ。無理すんなよ。Of course. Thank you. Their words, Heisuke's especially, brightened my spirits a bit. From then on, Matsumoto visited the compound regularly to check up on the men of the Shinsengumi. Ever since Sanan had become the leader of the Furies, the group was named as the Fury Corp. Still, I couldn't help but wonder. Was it really all right to continue researching the Furies? My heart was heavy with worry. Without him, the Shinsengumi would be nothing. We would cease to exist. If so, why? We should save. Boop. And I think we will、uh, take a break right here because this music is really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some more tea.
Hello, friends. I'm back. Ooh, I hear... I see we're talking about Octopath Traveler. That is, like, one of the things that has me almost ready to jump in and buy a Switch. Most everything else that has me ready to buy a Switch is all just Fire Emblem shit, because I'm Fire Emblem trash just a little bit. Probably unsurprisingly. Thank you, everybody. Did we all have a little break? Stretch our legs, get some drinks refreshed, have a snack? Or a nap, as the case may be. Anaris says, did you go get water? I did say Fire Emblem, Grim. Fire Emblem is great shit. <laughs> I never did play Radiant Dawn. Um, I start. I sort of actually got into playing the Fire Emblem games with. Uh, Awakening, but I've been a fan of like the art and just the stuff of the series for many, many years before that. Now, when you say DA, are you referring to Dragon Age, my friend? Because that's wonderful. In fact, I feel like like the one time I maybe streamed some Dragon Age shit, uh, you were there a long ass time ago. That's what I thought. I remember you. When I took my mage boy through Trespasser. <laughs> Dragon Age 4 when? I know, right? Please. Welcome back, Anarsis. We were not waiting for you necessarily, but we were... chatting about games. But I think we're ready now. Aw. Well, I'm glad that I got you into Trespasser. That's a good expansion. Grumble, grumble, bitch, moan, stupid soulless. But anyway. Good, good, Anaris. I'm glad you got water. All right. Let's do the thing. Percy is here with us as well. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna save, even though I think I did before I left. <laughs> the one time I played through Dragon Age uh, Inquisition, I played uh, my, my dude mage. But, uh... I I started the game initially intending I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to send this boy after Dorian because hell yeah. Um, but I kind of like changed tack about halfway through and wound up falling in love with Josephine because she was just too adorable. And I was very happy with how that one turned out anyway. Anyhow, enough about Dragon Age Romance. Let's get back to Romance in the Bakumatsu. After the dust cleared, following the Hamaguri Rebellion, the Shogun set about cleaning house. The Choshu Expedition was launched by the Shogun once the Choshu Domain were declared enemies of the court. Perhaps feeling they'd dodged a bullet, the Choshu Domain fell silent for a time. Their obedience was short-lived, however, and before long their disrespect for the Shogun became impossible to ignore. 
in order to investigate further, the shogunate decided to send an envoy to the Choshu domain. Kondo was asked to accompany an envoy sent to the Choshu to investigate their behavior. However, the Choshu domain refused to even meet with the envoy. Fed up with their insubordination, the shogunate ordered the second Choshu expedition. However, the war was a costly one, exhausting both the resources and the men from all over the domains whose morale began to falter. To add to the fire, word of Shogun Iemochi's passing shook all of Japan, and some domains even withdrew, which made the situation even more dire. The second Choshu expedition had ended in a surprisingly major loss for the shogunate troops. October 1866 The pillar of the Tokugawa shogunate, which stood strong for 260 years, was beginning to show signs of instability. Politics! Oh god, these fucking birds. That day, I was accompanying Saito on his rounds. It sure has been hot lately. I've gotten used to the city of Kyoto, but I just can't get used to this humid heat. Yeah, all the fucking cicadas. <sighs> there was like birds and cicadas. But the cicadas were definitely the more annoying sound. We get them out here and I cannot stand them. I always wondered. Even in midsummer, Saito always wore his full uniform. Wasn't he hot? He kept his vigilant guard up while observing the city of Kyoto. Alright. He gave me a short nod of confirmation and stepped into the shop with his men. I had been waiting for Saito and his division for a few minutes when I noticed a commotion nearby. Oh no, it's asshole Ronin again. A number of rather unpleasant looking Ronin were making their way in my general direction, yelling, threatening, and intimidating anyone unfortunate enough to cross their path. Patriots? <laughs> Hardly. Perhaps they considered themselves loyal to the Imperial Court, but they looked like the sort who only used their supposed patriotism as an excuse to kill and steal. The Ronin tossed a poorly aimed kick at a child playing in the street. What should I do? It seemed like the warriors were preoccupied with their investigation in the store. Just as I was about to stop the Ronin. Yamenasayo, <laughs> The man's obviously short fuse had been lit. He made a grab for the girl and missed. I suspected his next attack wouldn't be as inaccurate. I couldn't let that happen. Wait! When I had come to my senses, I noticed that I had instinctively taken action. I had positioned myself in front of the girl, protecting her. Nanda, 
No, I don't. Flecks of spit flew from his mouth as he roared at me, and my legs suddenly felt somewhat weaker than they had a moment ago. But I was committed. I couldn't run now. If you truly love your country as you say, then why do you abuse women and children? A samurai should protect common people, not attack them. Something about my speech must have struck a chord with the gathering crowd. With the cheers, my legs started to regain some of their usual steadiness. With the rough hiss of metal, the ronin sword leapt from its scabbard. <laughs> I suddenly discovered I had difficulty swallowing. I could try to dodge, but if I did, he might hit the girl my actions had intended to protect. I was about to draw my sword. Huh? Slowly, carefully, I opened my eyes. Speaking of badass... Saito! Working quickly, Saito's men set to work binding the Ronin for transport. Saito's cold eyes fell on me. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. But I couldn't help myself. I mean, what if she were to get injured? Uh, um... A scolding from Saito was expected. But I hadn't thought that my erstwhile damsel in distress would contribute. I'm sorry I made you worry. I gave her a short, slightly confused bow, to which she blinked as if suddenly remembering something very important. Oh, well, I, I didn't do anything. It was Saito and his men who made the actual arrest. Uh, what? Saito glanced from her to me and an expression flashed across his face that I couldn't quite place. Um... Well, uh... I wasn't entirely sure how to respond. How does a person respond to that sort of question? She seemed to sense my confusion and gracefully moved on. Can we just pause to appreciate for a moment how fucking adorable she is? Don't worry, Grim. She's totally sweet. Um, well, this is... Uh, my name is Chizuru Yukimura. It's nice to meet you. Her eyes grew wide as if she were surprised, and she stared intently at me. Anata, Yukimura, 
Why, yes. I was living in Edo, but I had come to Kyoto for a certain reason. Um... She was acting a little strange, so I tried to speak to her. And she laughed and looked up. You think so? <laughs> Thank you. Miss Sen? <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, so just Sen, then. She gave my hand a gentle squeeze, then turned and left, her kimono flapping behind her. Our encounter was over before I'd had a chance to grasp what was even happening, and so I simply stood, stunned, for a moment or two. Saito was eyeing Sen walking off, and eventually he turned to me. I know, huh? She did say it was the same as her acquaintances. Oh, well, I guess Yukimura isn't an uncommon name either. It seemed like Saito was concerned with her reaction to my name, and he was deep in thought. Uh, oh, yes! So we continued on our rounds, trying to withstand the scorching heat. The heat wave ended up lasting several days. On one such day... Yukimura-senpai, do you want to be in this kind of way? Soma-kun! Oh, um, it may be better to make them lukewarm. It's still quite hot today, you know? This young man is Kazue Soma. He joined the Shinsengumi just before summer began. He's very serious and respectful. <laughs> Wait, who is this cutie? <laughs> He's one of the new guys uh, for this remake. He is one of the new dateable options. Coincidentally, he had met the Shinsengumi around the time I'd first arrived in Kyoto, and he crossed paths with them during one of their rounds. And yes, thank you for that bit of history note, uh, Professor Lin. Uh, no, you can't play as him. He is friends with a character who I don't think appears in this, but was the playable character in a kind of a prequel side story game. We didn't get that one out here, unfortunately. Shortly <clears throat> Oof, my voice died. Shortly after... Kondo had crossed paths with Soma when he visited Choshu with the envoy, and Kondo invited Soma to join the Shinsengumi. Now he currently works at Kondo's page. I really respect how much effort he puts into his work, and he keeps spirits high. But if you do that, the tea's flavor will become lighter. So, so good. Yes, you can definitely um, hook up with Soma-kun over here. I don't think this kid is. I assume he's tied to Soma's story, though. 
since they feature them together in a lot of the promo art. This energetic lad is Risaburo Nomura. He joined the Shinsengumi around the same time as Suma, and because of their closeness in age, Nomura became Kondo's page in training. For him, he was a huge fan of the Shinsengumi, and he joined them because of it. That left me to make sure that I teach them about all of the duties and responsibilities that go into becoming a page, which was harder than I thought. The tea doesn't have to be room temperature, just a little cooler to offset the hot weather. So, first prepare some warm water rather than boiling hot, then try brewing it. That way it doesn't dilute the tea's flavor. Uh, thanks? Well, as for the tea, I'll pour some and take it to them, so you two... Yeah, they've been calling her senpai because she's technically the senior page. <laughs> Oh no. Dosto? Yoritakunoi 